Tone Tips 101 Hey guys, so it's pretty common that most people will put their boosters after their drives or you know in the effects of the amp to boost their volume but what I rarely notice here is people putting it before their drive so today we're going to demonstrate what's the difference when you put your booster before the drive and after the drive The guitar I'm using is my own Les Paul Custom Classic Epiphone Everything is stock, pickups and stuff Into the orange dark terror, set pretty clean booster before the drive and after the drive so for today's uh, purposes we're using the EHX glove and we're going to use the TC spark booster <laughs> For the first demonstration, we're putting the booster before the overdrive, so the guitar is going to the spark booster first, into the glove, into the amp. So what you probably notice is placing the booster before the drive would actually elevate your gain and not much of your volume. For the second demonstration, we're doing the guitar into the glove, into the spark booster, into the amp. Putting the booster after the overdrive is going to elevate your volume and really do doesn't do much in the gain area unless you have a pedal like the spark booster in which you can boost the gain. advantage of putting you know a booster before your drive is if you really like the tone of your overdrive and you like the whole range of its drive from you know low gain all the way to high gain and you wouldn't want to get another pedal just for the high gains so what you can do is you can actually put the booster before your drive and boost again that way <laughs> Feel free to experiment with what boosters you like and what old drives you like and placing them before and after to see you know, what's the difference in tone. Do you like it? Do you not like it? There's tons of boosters out there, not just the TC Spark booster. You can check out the MXR Micro Amp or the CAE MC401 or the EHX uh, LPB1, I believe. 